We're here in Dalton, Georgia at the Carpet City Poultry Show. Let's check out some birds. What is your name? I'm Sarah Block. Where are you from? I'm from Texas originally, but I moved to Tennessee a few years ago. What do you do for like the poultry shows and all that? Uh, to get my birds ready. I, uh, I have three sources of water. So I have a farm sink, it makes it easy. And then I use a five gallon bucket for the third. And um, the first one I put Blue Dawn, which is safe for wildlife. So um, it's safe for chickens. And then I also have sometimes Blue Tide for chickens that are white and it helps get them really white. Um, and then I use a big scrub brush like that with a long handle, kind of like you would use on dishes. Um, I just set them in the water and usually it's pretty warm so they just completely relax. And then I'll soak them a little bit, get their uh, studs all over them, and then just kind of rub it um, with the feathers, with the scrub brush, just get it nice and deep in there. And then for around their head and their beard, I use a uh, toothbrush to just kind of comb it out and get it wet so that they don't have to get their head underwater or anything like that, because um, that would be bad. <laughs> and then uh, after I, I pick them up and then kind of, it's easy if you imagine these are their feet, I lean them like this so their feet are pointing towards the sink and then I just scrub like that in the direction of the foot feathers and then I'll turn them around and do the front side and then after that they go into the next tub which is water, warm water with some vinegar and the vinegar strips all the soap off and then they go into the just plain water to get all the vinegar off and then they go into a chicken burrito <laughs> and towel and they get uh, dried off and they go under a lamp with shaving so that they stay clean. Uh, what feed do you use for your chickens? I just use the cheapest feed from the store, which is I know a lot of people <laughs> will not agree with that. But um, if I want to spend money during hatching season or breeding season, or if I really want to get them well conditioned for the show, I might pay extra for the Purina, Olena, Olea, Omega 3 fatty acids. And it's um, if you compare the labels on the back, you can see the food with the most variety in the diet is usually the better one. It has the most trace elements and such. 
So a lot of people have fees, they have access to better fees than I do, but pretty much my only choice is like Do More or Purina. So the, the highest end near me is the Purina Olea, I think, um, the Omega-3 for laying hens. So what, what birds do you raise? I raise cochins, phantom cochins, not so much anymore. Um, because they're hard to condition. <laughs> and I raised ducals. I used to raise booted. I still have a couple here and there. And um, now, apparently, silver spangled hamburg. But we'll see. I probably won't get many of those. How'd you do today in the show? I don't know yet. They're still judging. I hope good. Good. <laughs> I hope so. Well, thank you for letting me interview you. Oh, thank you. We're here in Dalton. Why? 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 Hey, we're in Dalton City, Georgia. <laughs>